Hi there, Chris here with a quick tip for you all. In this video, we're going to be quickly doing eyes. I'm going to quickly show you how to paint uh, two different ways of doing eyeballs. And so to serve as our example, we're going to be painting this little Fenris wolf from the Space Wolf Army. And so to get us started, we're going to be using pure white or using white scar if you're using GW paints. And so very quickly, we just grab a little bit, slap it onto our palette, and using a very fine brush, I'm here, I'm using a Winsor Newton Zero to accomplish this. And so normally if your model was uh, very flesh tone, you would uh, give it a uh, base of white into that area, just so that you get a nice black outline once we get to this white phase here. But because the eye socket was already black, we just jumped right into the white. And so we're just filling in the entire area of the eyeball. Now, not to the eyelids or anything like that, so you gotta be very careful in that regards. And as you can see there, we just got the little entire uh, eyeball area. And so next, it's pure black. And so next, we'll just slap a little bit of this onto the palette, and again, using the same brush, or use a finer brush, if you will. And very quickly, we're just gonna apply a little ball. Now you can also do a little triangle. Triangle kind of works as well. Concentrating mostly on the top of the eyeball and bringing it downwards to the bottom of the eyeball. Just so that we get that uh, really kind of full eye effect. If we had simply put a dot in the center of it, it would kind of have this staring appearance. Now that would be fine if you want to create that effect, but if we want to have more natural kind of relaxed feeling or you know more aggressive feeling eyeball, we can uh, we just simply fill in almost half of that section. And so another way we can do it, again, is if we had put a black base down first and then put this white into the entire eyeball so that we're left with like a little black outline on that section. And for the wolf, we're gonna use earth brown, but you could just as easily use a dark blue or dark red or you know, whichever happens to be for your character or model you're working on. And so again, with the black, we're gonna do that with this brown. Now the reason for the brown is that we're gonna kind of give this uh, wolf kind of a uh, golden color, like an eye, you know, wolves have kind of a yellowish eye. And so we're gonna use brown as the base for that. And again, you can see it's kind of gone with a little triangle in that space for the iris. And then we're gonna add a quick little highlight. And for that, we're gonna use sudden yellow and so if you're using blue, obviously you'd use a very light blue to achieve this. And so again, we just slap a little bit on our palette and kind of like we're painting a gem, we're gonna color the bottom part of the iris. And it's kind of difficult to see here, but because it's such a small area we're working with, if I had done it in blue, it'd probably been a little bit more apparent, but. And then next we're gonna grab some pure black and we can throw in that very center of the eye, the pupil. But here I'm just gonna reestablish the black outline around that eye just to create a little bit more depth and pronounce that eyeball a little bit more. And so you can see it's pretty straightforward. Just take a little bit more pure black, just kind of clean that up a bit. Often too, when we're planting in the white of the eyeball, you can end up uh, touching kind of the top part of the eyebrow as well, or in the eyelid, and kind of creates this funny little effect. And then, for fun, we're gonna use some Carver Crimson. And this is gonna be kind of lightly, very lightly, we're using the same brush here to apply this little uh, wash. We're gonna put this into the corners of the eye, and this kind of creates that uh, the blood vessels in the eyeball. And so if you apply just a little too much, you can just clean your brush off and then just kind of lightly draw out the excess ink. And that's it. Any questions or comments, leave them below. Thank you for watching. Happy Wargaming.